Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel for some more Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke. In the last episode we got here to the old man guarding Lugia's chambers. We are going to get down there today, catch Lugia, and probably make our way to the Pokemon League if all things work out according to plan, which, you know, will be first for today. But we... <laughs> We will get there. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you have not joined us. Thanks again. I want to say it one more time. Thanks again for the 100 subscribers. Really, really appreciate it. Let's just keep on climbing. Let's just keep on going. Again, we are making our way. So, hope you're going to subscribe and join us for the ride. We are here, ready to go. We are just going to get right into it. Uh... Our team is looking kind of fire. We've got Asteroid the Lapras with Ice Beam, Surf, Body Slam, Whirlpool, Jawbreaker the Golem, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Double Edge, and Self Destruct, Carnage the Gyarados with Aqua Tail Strength, Crunch and Dragon Dance, Almanarasu the uh, Nine Tails with Flame Flamethrower, Extra Sensory, Calm Mind, Confuse Ray, Sparky the Raichu with Thunderbolt, Surf, Flash, and Fly, and Dragonite. The uh, Puff the Dragonite with Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam, Dragon Dance, and Wing Attack. Now we're going to go into this, and we're just going to throw the Master Ball right at Lugia. I'm just telling you right now, we're just going to throw it right there. Let's give this guy his little silver wing. You have found it. Please go ahead. All right. There should be an item in this cave here. The Rare Candy, which we have plenty of. No need for any excitement on that. That's just... Kind of getting one back. That's all right by me. And then we'll just take this wonderful little hill into the depths. I don't know if there's any encounters in this cave in this area, but I don't care. I'm going to use another repel anyway. Getting here was a pain in my butt, but we are here finally. And we are ready to give the, whatchamacallit, the title bell to Zuki. When the dance we uh, we practiced many days becomes one with the sound of the tidal bell we entrusted with you, then Lugia shall come out from deep within the waterfall basin once again. Okay. All right. My hair is looking extremely thin today. Hello, Lugia. Nice to finally meet you again. That it is indeed Lugia, the guardian of the islands from the ancient times. So many have tried again and again, only to fail. Paul, your heart in complete harmony with the title bell has finally allowed it to appear. Don't you see, Lugia? It must have been waiting so for someone like you all this time, wouldn't you agree? Yes. I think so. Alright. Well. Let's approach it and chuck a ball. Because I ain't dealing with this. I ain't dealing with it. Level 50. Fantastic. That'll be huge, actually. Bag. Ball. Master Ball. Use. Alright. Well, that was 
Very anticlimactic. Lugia is caught, and we are ready to move on. I'm not wasting any time with this. Lugia, the diving Pokemon, said to be the guardian of the sea, is rumored to have been seen on the night of a storm. Well, we know what we're going to name this. We know what we're naming that. Silver is back. Silver from our emerald run through is is back now. Our emerald, em, uh, our emerald randomizer, he is back. He's gone to the PC. We'll take a look at him in a second. I don't think they have anything else to say. I think they're completely speechless as to how quick we caught him, but uh, or caught it. And that's fine. I don't care. Is there anything to be surfed to get? No, there's not. All right, guys. I'm gonna cut to the PC. Uh, we're actually gonna fly to. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna fly back to Blackthorn City and see if there's any in trees to headbutt and see maybe we can get an encounter there. All right, we have made it to Blackthorn City. Well, we, before we left Cyanwood, I uh, I taught Avalanche to Asteroid and I got rid of Whirlpool, so that has been taken care of. I don't think there's any trees here in Blackthorn City to headbutt. It's kind of a barren, a barren land. Don't think they have any trees in this city. So, I was hoping we could get an encounter, uh, a city encounter, but I don't think that is possible. So, uh, yep, not possible. Uh, let's take a look at our Lugia now before we continue on. If it's viable, if it's if it's got a great nature, we might just add it to the team. I'm not making any promises, but I mean, we might. Naive nature with pressure. Okay. Uh, Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Aero Blast, and Punishment. My, my controller is extremely wonky right now. Let's see. Stat-wise, yeah, it's got lowered special defense, which kind of hurts, on it, honestly. That yeah, kind of hurts it. I mean, we can use them later. Uh, I'm not going to add them right now, but if we get to the Elite Four and we need a, we need a saving grace, we can... We can hit the big red button and add Lugia to the team at that point if we need him. But for right now, I'm going to just kind of play it status quo and just keep keep with the flow going status quo, if you know what I mean. You mean what I know. I know what I mean. So now we're just going to head back to New Bark Town. And I think now at this point we have completed all we need to do here in Johto. Um... We can finally make our way to the league. So let's grow. Let's head off to New Barktown for our last, uh, kind of our last jaunt. Um, did I ever get a fishing encounter in New Barktown? I don't know if I ever fished here. Not like it matters. Let's just hop on it. We're going to get some encounters, though, coming up here. So that's very exciting. Do I have Pokeballs? I don't actually know if I have Pokeballs, but we will see. All right, get rid of that, and then, yeah, I need to put up, I, I didn't want to put up a Repel just yet, but I might have to. That Buizel would have been nice earlier, but let's put up our Max Repel. All right. And now we are in Johto, or in Kanto. I mean, <laughs> hey, did you know what you just did? You just took your first step into Kanto. Check your Poker Gear map and say, check your Poker Gear map, Tojo Falls. So this is route what? Let's take a look at our map. This is route, uh, oh, this is Tojo Falls. And then route 27. So we're going to get our Tojo Falls encounter and then our route. I'm going to I'm not going to get one outside here. I'm going to count that as route 27. So we're going to get go into Tojo Falls and get a Tojo Falls encounter. Um we don't have anybody that knows his waterfall, do they? No. All right. Well, let's see. I mean, I know who we can teach waterfall to who would benefit from it. Probably, honestly, just get uh, 80 power still. Okay, so Driano didn't increase the power of Waterfall. 
Puff might be able to use Waterfall to his advantage. Let's uh, see what Puff can do. Because Puff was originally going to have Aqua Tail. Um, God, if I get rid of anything, it'd probably be Wing Attack, but it's got Stab in that. It doesn't get Stab from Waterfall and Dragon Dance. I mean, I'd love to just... I'd love to keep Dragon Dance just in case. Uh, I think we're going to have to not teach it to him. Carnage or Asteroid? Unfortunately, are the only two options. And I think Carnage is probably the best choice. Because we could easily just get rid of Aqua Tail. Waterfall's got more PP and it doesn't miss. Aqua Tail's a chance to miss, but it's got 10 more power. I think I'll make the trade-off. For a move that won't miss. So I think we'll just get rid of Aqua Tail. And I think Waterfall uh, helps flinching. I think it has a flinch probability too. So paired with King's Rock, I feel like that's just going to help us in the future. So let's go with that. Who put these rocks right up at the top of here? That's crazy. Alright. And down the other side. I want that item. Don't you think I didn't see you over there? Oh, Moonstone. Okay. We don't really have anybody that can use that, but, you know, nice to have anyway, I think, first. Just in case, because, I mean, we do have more encounters coming in Kanto. You never know who we might find. You had you never know. Might find a Clefairy. Might find a... I don't know what else. But it's also Jigglypuff, maybe? All right. It's rare to see anyone come here. Are you training on your own? Uh, no, I'm training with you, with me. And, 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 and now, because I'm battling you, I'm training with you. Oh! This is Ace Trainer Megan. Spelled the same way as my wife spells her name. M-E-G-A-N. I looked over thinking maybe she was over in the room, but she's not. Um, Ice Beam it. Giga Drain, I'm going to live that. I'm going to live that. I'm not worried. I'm, I'm, I'm seven levels higher. Easy live. Easy live. Completely gone. Jump Bluff is absolutely not a threat. Not a single threat has ever been posed by a Jump Bluff before. I can guarantee you that. Not one time has that ever been a problem. Now we might have a problem. Venusaur is a bit scary. I could stay in an Ice Beam it. But it might do. A, it might have a higher damage output move. Part of me wants to go puff, puff and wing attack. I think, I think that's a better option because I resist the fight. I, I just resist it. Pedal dance. Yeah, that would have been a problem. That would have definitely been a problem on uh, asteroid for sure. But it did absolutely nothing to me, and then I can just. Uh, I think I'll Ice Beam. I was going to Wing Attack, but I think I'm just going to Ice Beam. See how much it does. Coming from a special attacking Dragonite. Did quite a bit. Yeah, this person's got each of the evolved starters from Kanto. V uh, Venusaur, Blastoise, and uh, Charizard. Venusaur looks huge in this sprite, though. It absolutely looks gigantic. I always thought it was like the biggest looking sprite for any of the Kanto starters, and I think I'm right. No, you have a Roserade. Okay. All grass types on your team, I bet. I bet that's your I bet that's what you're going with. All grass types. Well Roserade's gonna be gone, I think. One wing attack. Oh yeah. That that attack power and the stab wing attack does not matter. That might actually be more powerful than Ice Beam. And Exeggutor! Not an Alolan, so it's not the better of the two, in my opinion. Although I think I'm in, I'm in the minority with that. Alright. Psychic. Eat it up. Thank you. Um, you're not going to heal, I don't think. Nope. That'll take care of this Ace Trainer, and we can finally get our encounter in the Tojo Falls. I forgot we, we put a rappel up, and we got through there without any encounters, so 
Let's go back in there and uh, get an encounter now. I'm going to run around on the on this platform here for the encounter. All right, just got to wait for that to wear off. And our encounter for Tojo Falls is... Is it dupes or no? I don't think so. I don't think that's dupes. I just think that's a pretty good encounter. Um, let us... I'm just going to body slam it. Oh, it's got slack off. Well, we got the paralysis. And that was my goal there. All right. You should be in catching range. Ultra ball. Just throw it, and uh, honestly, if we get a slow bro, I'm not going to be too upset. I'm not upset by that. Not upset in a bit, because that's actually power. A defensive, that's our defensive wall that we might be needing later on. And honestly, not upset at all. Naturally dull to begin with. Uh, it loses its ability to feel pain due to the poison that Shelter put in its body. Okay. Uh, give nickname to slow bro. We are going to name this Slowbro, which is a female. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever had a female Slowbro. I was going to name it Brochacho, but... Or Broski. But it's not Broski. We'll just name her Magenta, because she's pink. And, uh, it's Magenta. So Magenta will go to the box, and we will uh, take a look at Magenta later on. But for right now, we are in Route 27... I don't want a Route 27 encounter to be a water encounter, so I'm going to try to put some repels up and avoid the water. Uh, we're off to the Pokemon, the Pokemon League. Loyal enough to win. Let me see. What are you going to give me for that? A gift. TM37. Sandstorm? Yes. Not a great move. Not a great move, but... And you're going to heal me. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, old man. Thank you, old man. All right, let's grab Repel first. Repel first. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want to get stuck getting another water encounter. Too many of those. Water is the most common type in the game. I do not want any more water encounters. All right, and now this grass is going to be our encounter grass. I'm not going to not going to bail that guy until I get my encounter. So I'm going to hide over here and get my encounter first. Got to let the uh, repel wear off first, though. Come on now. Come on. It sucks because I just put that repel up. Can I squeak by you real quick? Squeak by you. I'll get my encounter right here. Five hundred steps is a lot of steps, guys. A lot of steps. Okay. Now give me what I came here for. I have an idea. How about you give them what you? Oh. Okay. Ponyta's not bad. Ponyta's not bad. Level 42, Body Slam. Don't kill it. All right, good, perfect. I was hoping for the para at the same time, but luckily, I mean, unfortunately it didn't, but hey, you know, luckily it didn't kill it. Luckily it didn't kill it. Luckily we're just gonna still get our Ponyta. Yes, fantastic. And we have our horse. We have our horse. Justify won the Triple Crown in 2018. So yeah, we'll name this Justify. Justify won the Triple Crown in horse racing in 2018. I knew there was somebody that won it. Not like the last couple years, but I knew it was like kind of recently. I remember being at work and having... Everybody like buying all these damn mint containers for mint juleps. And I was like, the horse races were going wild in 2018. I remember those days. Justify will go to the box. And uh, 
We'll just keep marching. Marching on, folks. I'm gonna get to the Pokemon League in the next episode, I think. But we gotta make sure we are all set because there is a rival battle in the next, uh, in the, um, Victory Road. So we need to make sure we are ready for that. Absolutely. Could have just caught a Rapidash, but that's fine. That's fine. We'll just, we'll have our Ponyta. Not too concerned about that. Do we have anybody that we need to put out in front that's maybe a little bit behind in levels? I mean, Jawbreaker, but... Oh, Jawbreaker scares me a little bit. Jawbreaker just scares me a smidge. Oh, this is a psychic. I don't want to know what you're... I don't want you to know what I'm thinking. It's not a, not a fun time, man. I don't like to have my mind read. Ooh, a Gallade. That's not good. It could have it could have a number of things. This thing could have Leaf Blade for Jawbreaker. It could have fighting type moves like Close Combat. Oh man, what is my goal here? Like, what is my my play? Probably Puff. I think Puff's the play. The switch in. I should be able to live one of its super effective attacks. Oh, it's gonna straight Psycho Cut. It didn't go for one of those other moves. Wow. Okay. Well. Wing attack it is. Wing attack it is. Should just take it down one hit. Oh, yeah, you betcha. Oh, you are absolutely correct. That is a one shot. What you got next? A giraffe rig. Oh. I, there was a meme on Twitter the other day I saw, and it was, like, so funny. Um, let's see, what should I do? Dragon Pulse, maybe? I don't think there's any reason to switch. I mean, I could switch it to Carnage and just go for the Crunch. I'll do that. Uh, there was a meme on Twitter the other day where it was like, Giraffe or Egg. And then it goes, guys turned around, he goes, Giraffe or Egg. And he's like, and I, if I don't, if you don't see the meme, it's, it's not funny. But honestly, it was absolutely hilarious because it was like, you know, when somebody's, you got the dark, the dark version of the one self is like the opposite. You know, is the opposite of that person, and then Giraffe Rig spelled backwards. Giraffe Rig, it was just, I don't know. It was so, so stupidly funny, and it, it's hard to describe if you haven't seen it. So it's just, it's a meme, and it was just absolutely, I just, I laughed for hours. I kept thinking about it, and I was just like, what, who, 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 who came up with that? You know, who was the genius that came up with that? Absolutely funny. Baynet. Okay, so this episode should be going up. This episode I'm recording right now should be going up on Friday. It should be a Friday episode. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, guys. This is... We look at our calendar. Uh, this should be going up on Friday the 12th. So I'm gonna have an episode on uh, Monday the 15th, and then Monday the uh, and then Wednesday the 17th, and then that'll be it for the series for a while, um, unless we get to the Elite Four, and that's just gonna be it. So um, maybe Monday's episode's the last one for a while because once BDSP comes out, we're not gonna have any uploads um, for a little bit on uh, on this because I'm gonna stream every day. BDSP. So that's going to be the, the, the mode there. I don't want to have to put any extra labor in as it's going to be very busy with Thanksgiving and everything. So I'm going to take a break from the game from Storm Silver. Um, so we might not actually be able to take on any of the Elite Four for a while. That's what it's kind of looking like on the schedule, but we'll see. Uh, I'd like to beat Lance before then, but it might not happen. So if it doesn't, then don't come at me. Um, do I Earthquake this or do I Switch? I... I don't know what these things are going to do, and it's it's scary. I'm just going to Earthquake it. Got the Quick Claw. Just with Jawbreaker's speed, and it has, it's got so many weaknesses. Water, ice, ground, fighting, grass. I mean, it's just... And its special defense isn't great. I have to start putting... I have to start putting more faith into this thing, because it's doing a lot of damage. When it does hit, it does a lot of damage. Unfortunately, if it doesn't move first... Thank God, it's learning hammer arm. Self-destruct, goodbye. 
Hammer Arm, get on that move set right now. Give me that move right now. All that's gonna do is slow me down more, but that's actually more beneficial than I thought. Okay, Gastrodon. We are definitely switching out of this. This guy's got five Mons, man. I need a Grass type on this team. That's a huge weakness I don't have. Like, I do not, I do not have a Grass type. That is a huge lack. Um, I think the only Pokemon I could ever go out to right now is Asteroid. That's all I have for Gastrodon is Asteroid. Because everybody else just is a bad matchup. And I have Water Absorb, so that's even better. Um, if it's going to go first, it's probably not going to go first. Let me Ice Beam it. I was going to say I could Avalanche it, but it's, it's definitely going to go second. The Gastrodon slows balls. That doesn't kill. No way. No way does that kill. There's no chance that does anything. One more Ice Beam. Bring it home, boy. This ain't going to kill. The first one did under half. This is going to leave it in the red. Yep. Toxic. You toxic player. He's a toxic player. You and your toxic personality. Oh, you your last your last resort is a toxic stall strat, huh? Get just go. My god, are you that dumb? Okay, who else do you got? Yeah, I mean, you got five months, so you, I mean, you need to have something pretty uh, expansive. Woo! I gotta switch out of this. Asteroid's done for the day, I think. Say goodbye, Asteroid. Signing off. Say goodnight. That's, this is the last battle of the episode, and that right there was his last performance of the day. And now you're locked into Petal Dance. Unfortunately for you. Doesn't matter. Flamethrower's gonna one-shot it. Flamethrower's gonna one-shot this vile plume. This flower. This precious little flower is scaring touch eye. Oh, it lived! It just lived. You know, these flowers are actually very deadly. I forgot the name of the flower that Vile Plume's based off of, but it's an extremely deadly flower. Hurt yourself in confusion. Nah. I'll uh, I'll extra sentry it. I'll put it down out of its misery slowly. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna burn it anymore. I've done enough of that. We're just gonna send this thing out on its own, on its own accord, very quietly and calmly. Do not worry about that at all. All right, what you got next? Fortress? Yeah. Not no problem. No problem. Before you explode, take this thing down. I don't need any more explosions. Guarantee you that's what it was going to use, too. I guarantee you. And a Butterfree. What is this? First grade? First grade math? This is first grade math in a, in a Pokemon battle. This is so easy. So easy, man. All right. Well, that'll do it for today's episode. And that will do it for the week. I appreciate you guys for checking out the videos on the channel this week. Again, thanks for sticking with me through the good and the bad and, and being with me as we start a new chapter as Evolved Paul. I appreciate all of the comments and all the support as we have are now branching out over 100 subscribers. Thanks so much. Check me out on my live streams when I can. Um, I think we might be going live on Sunday. Um... I'm not sure yet, but very likely I do go live. Um, before BDSP, we'll be playing something else, either Animal Crossing or, or maybe more Luigi's Mansion. But I will definitely be going live with something, I can guarantee you. you got to come up with a new outro. 